Most educators don't spend their days thinking about cybersecurity. Between classroom management, learning objectives, and so much more, it usually doesn't rise to top priority. But as technology evolves and continues to become more integrated into every aspect of our lives, cybersecurity is something we need to be mindful of and understand. In this brief video, we will cover some best practice cybersecurity tips for educators. First of all, what is cybersecurity? In its simplest form, cybersecurity is everyone working together to keep our information safe and our computer systems secure. More specifically, cybersecurity is the practice of protecting computer systems, networks, and sensitive information from unauthorized access that can compromise confidentiality, integrity, and availability. So what are the absolute basics I need to know? Everyone who uses technology, even just a smartphone, should be familiar with common types of scams and know how to protect themselves, their data, and their devices. And when we're aware of the latest kinds of attacks and able to protect ourselves, then we can also help our students and our schools. So here are some tips to think about while using technology. Use hard to guess passwords and passphrases. A password should have a minimum of 12 characters using uppercase letters, lowercase letters, numbers, and special characters. Use different passwords for different accounts. If one password gets hacked, your other accounts are not compromised. It's also a good idea to change your passwords once per year. Keep your passwords or passphrases confidential. Don't share them with others or write them down. You are responsible for all activities associated with your credentials, so make sure you protect those credentials to the best of your abilities. Avoid leaving sensitive information lying around your workspace. Don't leave printouts or portable media containing private information on your desk. Lock them in a drawer to reduce the risk of unauthorized disclosure. Don't post any private or sensitive information such as credit card numbers, passwords, or other private information on public sites, including social media sites, and don't send that type of information through email unless authorized to do so. Be sure to review the privacy settings on social media sites to restrict access to your personal information. Be sure to pay attention to phishing traps in email and watch for telltale signs of a scam. Don't open email or attachments from an untrusted source. If you receive a suspicious email, the best thing to do is to delete the message and report it to your tech team. Avoid clicking on links from an unknown or untrusted source. Cyber attackers often use them to trick you into visiting malicious sites and downloading harmful programs and files that can be used to steal data and damage networks. Don't be tricked into giving away confidential information. It's easy for an unauthorized person to call and pretend to be an employee or business partner. Don't respond to phone calls or emails requesting confidential data. Make it a habit to destroy information properly when it is no longer needed. Place paper in designated confidential destruction bins throughout the office or use a cross-cut shredder. For all electronic storage media, consult with your tech support team for proper disposal. Be aware of your surroundings when printing, copying, faxing, or discussing sensitive information. Pick up information from printers, copiers, or faxers in a timely manner. Don't install unauthorized programs on your work computer. Malicious applications often pose as legitimate software. Make sure you read the instructions carefully for all software that you download. Do not plug in portable devices if you are unsure of their contents. These devices may be compromised with code just waiting to launch as soon as you plug them into a computer. Be sure to lock and password protect your computer and mobile phone when not in use. This protects data from unauthorized access and use. Avoid leaving devices unattended. Keep all mobile devices such as laptops and cell phones physically secured. If a device is lost or stolen, report it immediately to your supervisor. Remember that public wireless internet access is inherently insecure. Avoid using public Wi-Fi hotspots. Hackers can take advantage of public Wi-Fi's lax on security to spy on you, steal your personal information, and passwords. Don't leave wireless or Bluetooth turned on when not in use. Only do so when planning to use and only in a safe environment. Keeping it active enables hackers to discover what other devices you connected to before, hack into one of those devices, and gain access to that device. Remember to report all suspicious activity and cyber incidents to your supervisor and tech support team. Keep all areas containing sensitive information physically secured and allow access by authorized individuals only. Copyright and fair use laws are nuanced and just because you're a teacher doesn't mean you're always in the safe zone. Limit your exposure by using a password protected space like Google Classroom or any learning management system to share published materials with your students instead of using your class webpage. That way you're sharing to the students in your class only. 
No matter how desperate the situation or noble your intentions, don't make and distribute copies of entire books, workbooks, study guides, practice books, or even an entire page from a textbook. Purchase enough copies for each student or obtain permission from the owner to make copies. By following these tips, you will be better equipped to stay safe while utilizing technology. For more information and support, please visit the website bit.ly backslash greenbushsafe.